But let's start with the football. And England have beaten the Republic of Ireland 2-0 in their Nations League clash in Dublin. Both England's goal scorers, Declan Rice and Jack Grealish, represented the Republic of Ireland at youth level. Rice won three caps for the senior side before he switched allegiance. Well, Ireland started strongly and unmarked Jason Malumbi heading over from six yards. But 11 minutes in, a Harry Kane shot was blocked and Rice swept in the opener. Rice, who has Irish grandparents and played in three friendlies for the Republic in 2018, refused to celebrate. Kane was thwarted again before Jack Grealish, who represented Republic of Ireland at youth level, scored England's second. Unlike Rice, he celebrated enthusiastically. The second half was scrappier, both managers making several changes as Lee Carsley gave Davids to Morgan Gibbs-White and Angel Gomez. So, Lee, you were watching the whole thing. Uh, an impressive start for Lee Carsley on the whole. Yeah, I, I felt so. I felt particularly the first half. Um, I thought that they, they, they really got out of the traps and, and asked questions early on uh, to Ireland. Um, you know, he, he actually delivered what he said he was going to do, Lee Carsley, by, you know, trying to get uh, more effective front players on the ball, which he did. I think what, what impressed me more so is that I've seen a lot more movement than what I've seen um, under, under Gareth, really, to be quite honest, in that forward line, as in, you know, the likes of Saka coming inside, the full-backs pushing on. Uh, and I think playing Grealish in, in that 10, I think, you know, I think we all know that he, he's, he's got quality and he can play in that position. Um, and we've never really talked about it. So, you know, it, it, there, was, there was lots of, like, I, I really like the fact that Declan Rice got forward a lot more, like what he does for Arsenal. Um, I think... Ireland did offer a lot of respect to England in that first half. But credit to them, second half, they come out. Listen, this is two new managers that are on show. Um, and they're obviously trying things out, sampling things. But I think the, the first half was quite evident of what I liked. And I'm sure pretty much everyone would have liked to see is that we, we went after, team, mm -hmm. after, after Ireland rather than sitting back. We've got players queuing up to play 10, haven't we? <laughs> I'm, I'm still in that queue, but I'm quite far back now. Yeah. Um, yes, we have. And, and Morgan Gibbs-White came on today. Um, you know, didn't have an awful lot of time to, to prove himself. Um, but yes, we have, you know, Phil Foden still to come back. I think what, what excites me more is that, listen, this isn't our, our full potential here by any stretch um it's a great start for england and a great start for lee uh, more so and i think we need to get behind his ideas for sure um you know I th again i think we've got the likes of bellingham foden to come back into the equation gordon had a very good game uh, jack was brilliant uh, in the game and all of a sudden i'm starting to like what i'm seeing it's 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 a watchable thing which i think all the fans and mm -hmm. All of us that sit and watch the England games, we want that excitement um, and we want to win games and we've had a clean sheet. So I think lots of boxes have been ticked and I think there's more to come. What do you make of um, the one who did celebrate and the one who didn't? <laughs> listen, it, it, listen you, knowing who would and who wouldn't, yeah. I would have said <laughs> it was going to be... If Jack scores, he was going to celebrate. I don't think it was to entice any of the fans. I just think, listen, if you're wearing a an England short shirt or you're wearing an Ireland shirt, you're going to celebrate if you have the history. Declan, I think, is a little bit more sophisticated and, and relaxed, <laughs> whereas Jack, I think we know what Jack's all about. We sophisticated? <laughs> yes. The word you uh, and, and probably a little bit more cleverer than Jack. Um, but, listen, I, I think you celebrate, you don't celebrate. Um, I think it's one of them, if, if I'm in a shirt that I've swapped for, um, I'm going to celebrate, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not doing it to, to interrupt or, or to, to disrespect anyone. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure both of the players have thought that in mind. So, Jack, I know feeling the way he was not being picked for the Euros, I can probably see why he did celebrate. Yeah, and, you know, one of the players who had a point to prove, perhaps, after the yeah, summer. Yeah, he did, he did. And he, he, he made that quite vocal, you know. He, Gareth not taking him to the Euros was, I think, made everyone sit up and think, why? You know, he's a different player and he proved that today, that he can relieve pressure, he can score goals, he can go and get in the box um, and he can play in a 10. So it's another option for, for Lee Carsley to, to have at the moment. But just have that hunger and desire to come 
back into the England fold. To be picked today, playing in a 10 position and score a goal and play a very big part in, in that first half. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really pleased for Jack and I'm really pleased that Lee's got him back in the England cell. And, and just finally, um, we saw some debutants, Gomez and Gibbs White came on. Did we really have enough time though? 10 minutes, they, you know, the changes. Did we have enough time to see what they can do? Um, or do you think it was a kind of a nice little gentle introduction? I, I, I think so. I think we might see more of them um, in the next fixture against Finland. So, but what I did, I did like, I mean, I've, I've, I've watched a bit of Angel Gomez and, and he's, I like the fact that he'd come into that midfield and he had a hell of a lot of touches when he came on. Yes, it wasn't really that it was direct passes. It was more about seeing the game off, keeping the ball, keeping it nice and local, keeping it tidy. So we know he's got that tidy ability. It's good the fact that we've got the likes of him, we've got the likes of Rice, Kobe Mainu, you know, we've got Bellingham to come back in the fold. This is what excites me about the whole prospect of England, of what we can possibly go to a next level and, and achieve. There were signs that I liked today because we played and we used them players that I'm, I'm highlighting because I don't feel that we've used them players to the best of their ability over the past tournaments. And that's probably why we haven't won in tournaments. So... It's in its early days at the moment, but I'm, I've, I've been impressed with the, the introduction of, of even Jared Bowen when he came on, he made a big impact, had to go and play through the front line. Harry came went off. He showed that he's capable of doing so. It's options, and I'm pretty sure that Lee will get the best out of whoever he plays. Levi Cole will play left back. You know, that role is, is a tough one to fill, but again, another good performance.